Hello, and welcome to this first in the series of four labs where you will be looking at measuring the gravitational field, little g, all around you. Now, the ideas of the electric field and the magnetic field are going to play really important roles in this class. However, these fields are a little more abstract and they're difficult to measure with just everyday tools that you're very well familiar with. So we're going to instead use the gravitational field to A, help us enhance our understanding of this little g from physics one, and at the same time, help us get a feel for how fields and forces are all connected. For this first lab, you're going to be measuring the gravitational field by dropping an object such as a ball and timing how long it takes to fall. You will drop it several times and from there be able to measure the gravitational field. Along the way, you'll explore such concepts as how to write a procedure for even something really simple. So once again, we're keeping the experiments intentionally very simple so that you can really think about everything that's going on. You will also explore uh, how to take data that's not a line and, and convert it into a line, which is a very useful thing to be able to do. You see it in all the literature. And the reason for this is because lines are really easy for our little monkey brains to understand. You'll explore how to determine if you've collected enough data. And then finally, how to fit data uh, to a line and make a plot that is you know, really good, high quality plot ready for publication using a sophisticated tool called Plotlet. So that will be this lab. The next lab will be the same experiment. You'll once again be measuring the gravitational field by timing how long it takes an object to fall. Why are we doing the same experiment twice? So that you can take your result from this experiment and your procedure from this experiment and think about it critically in such a way as to improve the procedure and apply more advanced analysis techniques, such as including uncertainties into your fit and get a better result. So that's sort of the idea for this pair of labs. The third and fourth labs in the sequence, you'll once again be measuring the gravitational field, but this time you'll be doing it in an independent way. You'll be using a pendulum and learning some more analysis techniques along the way. Ultimately, you'll have two independent results for the measurement of the gravitational field, and you'll be able to compare them and see if the two results are consistent with one another or not. So that's the basic outline of this lab. As always, you will be using uh, material from the prior lab in this one. So you will use a Monte Carlo error propagation at some point. And that's how this is going to work. So let's get on with the lab.